scrolling through Rob's Facebook page right now. Yeah, 2011. Do you like Come bitches, on. bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just killing it there, as you can see. You know, leader of vodka, I love bitches t-shirt. This guy's ready to have some fun. College AF. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even in college. I think I was like 17 there. Oh, good, good. That's hysterical. Breakfast at the Bucci household, you got coffee and French toast crunch, one carb waffle with pea science select -like protein, snickerdoodle flavor. Um, it's just this and one egg, that's it. And then a tablespoon of peanut butter, put a little almond milk in my coffee, and Rob's having the Bucci special as well. Yeah, the one carb waffle, first time. He's making his own, but you're putting carbs in it, you're putting open. Yeah, I put a bit of it, so a couple of carbs waffle. <laughs> Couple, couple roughly. Yeah. <laughs> the chart. Hey guys, we just had lunch and now we're about to head to the gym. I have another tough workout today. It's gonna be tough until we meet, but I'm getting prepared. I have to hit all my lifts today, and uh, we'll catch you guys at the gym. So guys, so it's um, about 2:30, and this video was supposed to be like a really fun Rob and Amanda collab, and like everybody else is here and. Supposed to have like a fun, happy video, but I am really anxious today, so. <sighs> um, I just get really bad anxiety sometimes. You guys have seen that before on my channel. Um, I'm just trying to like get out of my own head. It's really just like in my own head. It has nothing to do with anybody else who's here. Sometimes I get really overwhelmed when there's like a lot of people around all the time and anyways <laughs> just gonna try to push my workout and finish it. I feel much, much better after I just finish my squats and I still have to deadlift and bench. Um, but I feel like a thousand times better just finishing my sets and like zoning out. And that's really all I needed sometimes. So um, I almost left. <laughs> I almost left the gym. I was thinking that I might be able to have a better session if I go home first and chill for a little while. But, but no, this is my therapy.
main difference. You have to understand between deloading and tapering. Uh, pretty much the same. The main difference is going to be the load utilized. Okay, so typically when we deload, obviously you know how to deload because we've done that in the past. We reduce the volume slightly and we reduce load slightly. However, when we reduce the load slightly, you can actually lose a little bit of the strength adaptation that occurs from the reduction in load being used, right? Because a lot of strength gain is actually due to the central nervous system actually kind of adjusting itself to cater to what you're asking your body to do, right? Right. Not all muscular. <laughs> Some of it is actually the central nervous system having to adjust. So the, the thing with tapering is that you're keeping loads very high so that you don't lose the strength adaptation. Right. Okay. The main difference is though is that we're cutting load like so, I mean, we're, we're cutting volume super low. Right. That so makes sense. You, I mean, you can you can reduce volume anywhere from like fifty to seventy percent. The main thing is that we just don't want to lose that strength adaptation and we want to allow your body to be able to fully recover. In most cases too, I noticed that um, because I've I've had people paper and you know we have tried like three to four days and it's usually not enough. Um, and typically when we don't allow enough time for the, the super compensation to occur after a taper, you actually don't necessarily get a lot stronger for roughly like six to seven days afterwards. Because I've oh, wow. had people around four days and they actually still typically feel like crap. Hmm. And then once I'm like, all right, well, we're going to push it four more days, you're going to keep tapering, that's typically when they see like a big jump. Not necessarily a big jump, but that's when they start to feel really, really good. Oh, like, yay, I can't you wait for that. Really good, <laughs> you perform really good. Yeah, you know? exactly. And like you can feel, yeah, so you can feel kind of crappy and like, like try to get your lifts done, but it's, it's pretty like, <laughs> I was like, I felt like so defeated today when I was trying to deadlift that I like literally just couldn't. Right. I mean, like, I could yeah, have, but it was just so... Football is, you know, when you look good, you feel good, you play good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, when you're feeling good, typically you're going to perform good. Um, and obviously, you know, being at the palace and uh, you think it's going to be a pretty big event for you. Uh, just seeing that, you're going to have a lot of people there supporting you. You know, you're, you're just totally going to be positive. There's going to be a lot of positive vibes. People are going to be cheering for you. And like on that particular day, it's really hard to not feel good. Gonna That's be true. That's um, true. <laughs> you know, I've done like I've, I've done three powerlifting meets, um, and and every time, like you know, you just find your reason why you're doing what you're doing. You know? Yeah, for um, sure. At my at my last powerlifting meet, like Malayla was just born, like she was in a stroller out there, and like I'm squatting, and I'm looking over at Tanya and I'm just like. I'm just like this is it, you know. <laughs> That's so and, cute. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, well, whether it be, you know, relationship, friends, life, yourself, whatever it is, whatever it's driving, like, you know, that's why you're doing what you're doing. So I definitely want to make sure that, you know, we're allowing you enough time to be able to see cover from all the training that you've been doing, all the AMR testing, all the math testing, and all that, and you're back in office today. Um, yeah, absolutely. Like I'm, that that talk even just helped me feel better. And like, I, I guess I didn't like realize how how uh, different it was gonna feel. Like I, I haven't been through this like process before. So I was like, yeah, powerlifting. Like you just feel good. And like I was like trying to like carb up a little bit for my workout and like have like intra workout carbs. And I was like, yeah. nothing's working. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I mean, that's that's actually very normal. You know, I mean. Think about it, and I tend to use a lot of sports analogies just because I play sports. Yeah. But, um, no, they make sense. Know, think about it like this, in that, you know, whenever you're, you're playing so long, you're playing so much, like, you're eventually going to get wore out. And if you have a good coach, your coach is going to know when you're wore out. Your coach is going to put you on the bench for a little while. Right. So that you can recover and you can play at your best. A bad coach, somebody who he doesn't, you know, he may not. They just keep, keep, keeping in the game forever. What happens? You eventually wear yourself out and you get injured. Right. That, you remember when you went here at Cannon Town, what I was talking to you about is that most people end up getting injured when they're overreached. 
Right. That's that's typically when it happens because you don't know when to stop. You know, you've invested so much into your training and all of that. And let's say, Brent, if you're just not feeling good, you know, somebody will say, oh, just keep going, and going, and going, and going. But the best thing to do at that point in time is just to pull cool your athlete out of the game, get them on the bench, give them a drink, do a pep talk, and then when they're ready, a little pep talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm glad I have a coach that knows that. <laughs> so, I am lucky. Yeah, just, I mean, completely normal. You know, all this stuff is normal. I, I know it's something new to you, but it's normal. Okay, that makes me feel better. That's all I needed. <laughs> Thank you, though. That yeah. definitely, like, makes, makes sense. So how have you been? How's everything going? No, everything's going good. Like, today I was just having, like, a... It, like, after the expo weekends, uh, even just any weekend where, like, a lot of people are in the same place at the same time. Like, for me, personally, I just... Yeah. I need my, like, alone time, and it's fine up until a point, and, like, I don't even really notice uh -huh. it up until it kind of just hits me in the face. Excellent. Anyways... Well, it was a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, thank you so much uh, for calling me. I appreciate have it. Have a good time with all your friends over there. Tell them all I said hi. And, uh, Will do. Again, if you ever if you ever need to chat or anything, I'm all ears. All right. Thank you so much, Will. I appreciate it every single time. You're very welcome. <laughs> thank you. Bye. You're very have a good have night. night. It's the end of the night, and I'm finishing the video. I feel much better now after I. Uh, what? Yeah. Rob turned uh, around when I started filming. He's like, <laughs> "Can I be in the I video?" <laughs> no pressure. I'm just filming my outro clip. This is gonna be serious. So like, no, it's okay. Leave me be. Oh, oops. He's putting his headphones in, but he's still listening. <laughs> I can tell he's still listening. It's okay. Anyways, um, no, I feel much better uh, than I did earlier. Earlier was a little bit of a struggle for me, but those are the character building days. I always say. Um, Anytime I go through something difficult or something like mentally stressful or physically stressful or anything like that, I always say that those are the days that make you who you are. They make you build your character and they make you stronger from the ground up because you're feeling like crap and you have to push through whatever it happens to be. And um, I've had to deal with that in my life many, many times and I'm sure you guys have as well. And every single time I make the decision to just push through and suck it up and say, uh, I mean, obviously depending on what you're going through sometimes, it's it's not necessarily relatable this talk but um every single time I kind of just try to push through and do my best for that day and in that moment um I never regret doing that and I always know that that's gonna make me a better person and it's gonna build my character a little bit and I know that at the end of the day I, I have really great friends I have a great family I have a great boyfriend all of those people and things in my life are gonna help me push through those difficult times and it's only temporary um, obviously, depending on what it is, I have to make that disclaimer, but, um, anyways, that's, uh, my little talk for the end of the night. I know you guys, like, appreciate the talks, um, like, sit down, things like this, that me just talking about my feelings all the time, and hope you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will catch you guys in the next video. It's Rob and Sarah's last half day here tomorrow, so hopefully we're gonna do something fun. Rob and I play have something fun planned. He is still listening to me. He is <laughs> He's still listening. playing in these earphones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Catch you in the next right. video. Do you want an outro for me? Uh, what do you usually say? Um, say something you usually say. Uh, oh, definitely right. Um, keep it real. Keep it real. Ah, there That's you go. Mission. Sarah, do yours. Mwah. Perfect. <laughs> Karen, do yours. Thanks for being here, guys. Love y'all. Oh, I love that we all just did that. So cute. <laughs>